Let's just jump right into it. The fastest way to test a seamless repeat pattern in Procreate is by using the Pattern Playground found at PatternPlayground.com. Hop into Procreate and you'll want to make a duplicate of any folders you have and then flatten that duplicate. Next, gently swipe up on the bottom of your screen to display your dock and then drag Safari over to the left so it's split screen with Procreate. Drag that flattened layer right into the pattern playground. Select the coordinating pattern type listed below. You can adjust scale and you can even save the image. Once you save it, hit the little download down arrow the export icon, and then you can choose Save Image, and it will save it to your camera roll. We'll do this a few more times. In Procreate, duplicate the group that you have and then flatten that group. Swipe up on the bottom of your screen and drag Safari to the left. Navigate to that flattened layer and drag it into the Pattern Playground, selecting the coordinating pattern type. Adjust Scale as desired, and then hit Save Image to save it to your camera roll. You'll need to download it, select it, and then export it straight to your camera roll. And you can close out of the Pattern Playground at any time by hitting the three dots at the top and choosing Close. Here's another example of a full drop repeat. I'm duplicating the group that it's in, flattening that duplicate, dragging Safari to the left, and then dragging that pattern square in and selecting full drop. I'm rescaling again to preview the pattern's repeat, making sure it's completely seamless before I hit Save Image, downloading that pattern, selecting it, and then exporting it straight to my camera roll. Now let's do a half drop pattern. This is the pattern square. I'm toggling up the group, duplicating it, flattening it, Swipe up, drag Safari to the left, and then drag that pattern square into the pattern playground, and half drop is on by default. Here you can rescale, but this time let's change up the color. You can select your favorite hue, and then you can play around with different color modes to see the different effects that different color overlays have on your pattern. This can spark new ideas. You can bring it back into Procreate or adjust your colors in Procreate to match your experiments within the playground. I found this blue color that I like, so I'm going to save the image, and you can save the image with any color adjustments that you've played around with and applied to your pattern. Once again, duplicate, flatten, and then drag it into the pattern playground, making sure this time to select half brick at the very bottom. I'm going to adjust the size and then play around with color again, this time choosing more of a magenta color overlay so I have more of a monochromatic look. I'll save the image, download it, open the download, and then export it to my camera roll. I've got one more half brick example here. You can see it's the exact same process every single time. Once you get in this rhythm, it goes so fast. It is so fast to test your patterns, to experiment with color, to adjust scale. And all you have to do is make sure you're choosing the correct pattern type at the bottom of your screen. I'm going to export this one as well to my camera roll. Then I'm going to create a brand new canvas in Procreate. I can go to the Add category, Insert a Photo, and now I can grab those exported pattern repeats. Going through this exercise will allow me to complete any pattern collections I'm working on because I can preview what those repeat patterns are looking like at the scale that I exported them at. Not only can you use these in a mood board fashion like you see here, but you can also apply them to mockups directly in Procreate. By bringing your pattern repeat into a mockup file within Procreate, you can apply it quickly because you already have that pattern repeating without any manual tiling whatsoever. And all I have to do is insert that exported pattern repeat, and then I can see my pattern on a real item. If you'd like to learn more about creating custom, seamless, repeat patterns directly in Procreate, head on over to ProcreatePatterns.com.